probably heard this many times before. You have the potential to do anything you want and to become whoever you decide to become. You are capable of fulfilling all of your dreams and desires. Every single one of them. You're the only one who can stop yourself from succeeding in life. Now that you have been told it is possible you can achieve whatever you want in life, do you believe? Do you believe that it's possible for you to create your own dream life? Not the life that you were given when you were born, but your own dream life. What's stopping you from achieving it? What's stopping you from turning your dreams into reality? A recent study reported that over 50% of Americans hate their job. Over 50% hate what they do for the majority of their time on planet Earth. They wake up in the morning knowing that they have to go to a job that they hate. This is not only happening in America, it's happening all around the world. I think deep down, all of these people know they are capable of living a better life capable of earning better money and doing things they enjoy if they are willing to work for it. But what stopped these people from living their dream life? Think about a balloon filled with helium. There's absolutely no limits for a balloon filled with helium unless it were tied to something. If the balloon is tied to something, then it's impossible for it to reach the sky. It is impossible for it to reach its highest possible level. That's the only limitation a balloon has. The same thing can be compared to you and your life. You are limitless, just like the balloon. Your limitation is not visible. You're not tied down like the balloon. The only thing that ever stops you from reaching the sky is yourself. If you limit yourself, if you settle for less than your worth, if you listen to others and downgrade your expectations to fit into this world, then you will never reach the heights you know you deserve. You were not born with limitations. You develop them through your life experience, but you can decide now to develop new beliefs, a belief that you can have whatever you want in life. If you are prepared to work for it, that you can have whatever you want in life. If you are prepared to learn what is required to have it. Imagine what you could achieve if you believe you were limitless. Imagine what you could do if you just ignored that voice in your head that tells you that you can't do it. I don't see failure as the end. And I refuse to let setbacks or mistakes stop me from reaching my goals in life. I am responsible for my dreams. I am responsible for my results. Because I am the only one who can stop me from turning my dreams into a reality. I have the power to make my dream happen. I have the choice to decide if I will work hard for it or just settle. I have the choice to see how far I can go in life. Those who succeed don't believe in limits. They study until they understand. They don't give up when they experience doubt. They don't give up when it's hard. They do not give up full stop. They keep working hard even if they've been rejected. They keep at it. They keep searching for new opportunities. That's exactly how you have to be. Life is hard and you'll never get far if you limit yourself in anything you do. I have the power to make my dream happen. I have a choice to decide if I will work hard for it or just settle. This is your life. Live it to your fullest potential. You can't change your past, but you do have the power to change your future. is 
not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Period. It's that simple. I know who I am, but I know what I believe. I know who I am, I know what that's I believe. That's all I need to know. And that's all I need to know. So from there, you do what you need to do. You know, and I think what happens is we make the situation more complex than it has to Look, be. Because we're looking for complexity. There's got to be Absolutely. something complex to understand. It right? can't be that easy. No. I study the patterns of the universe. There's a, a reductive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. It's like it's water. It wants to move, it wants to move and go around and stuff, you know. You know, there's a, there's a flow of the universe that I've, I've grown to know just how to go with it. I'm motivated by fear. Fear. You know? Um, fear of what? That fear of fear. I hate being scared to do something. I started attacking things that I was scared of. It was Franklin Roosevelt said the only fear you have is fear is fear itself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah.